Hello YouTubers, it's Blue Goblin here with part two of my comic book review for the week of October 8th, 2008. This one's going to feature a lot of X-Men, so let's just cut to the chase and get right to it, shall we? Let's start with X-Men Manifest Destiny number two. This book was, it was okay. It wasn't the best X-Men book in the world, of course, but it was it was re it was readable. It was definitely readable. The first story is actually a, a storyline that I like. Um, the conflict, uh, the rivalry between uh, Iceman and Mystique. I've always been a huge fan of Mystique. She's always been one of my favorite villains, and I'm glad she's still a villain because during the whole Supernova's run, I thought she was really going good guy, and I was kind of like, what the hell? Why is Mystique going good guy? It makes no sense. I didn't like it, but I loved the Supernova storyline back in the uh, about a couple years ago. It was really good. Um, it actually made me wonder: Is Iceman gonna lose his powers? Because at the end of the at the end of the chapter between Iceman and Mystique, she says, "Kill her, cure, kill her, cure." And um, I really don't know what that means right now, so we'll have to stick around and find out. The second part of the story was dealing with Emma Frost, trying to cope with the fact that she hasn't really forgiven herself for all the crimes she did in the past as the White Queen. She thinks the X-Men absolutely hate her guts. She she talks with Logan and starts to wonder whether or not she should forgive herself. Not bad. I recommend I recommend reading it. I don't recommend I wouldn't recommend buying it. If you want to buy it, that's your choice. You don't have to buy it. I uh, give it a seven. Really good. This is it again. Here we go. Next up, we got X-Men Original Sin one shot. Um, this is actually really good. It was better than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was just going to be a bunch of lame-ass storytelling like X-Men Legacy is doing now. It was. This was actually a decent read. It deals with Wolverine, his son Dakin, uh, Dakin, whatever you want to call him. Um, it's not that. It's not that bad. It. Um, I hate the fact that it ends on a that it ends says to be continued in the next issue of X-Men Legacy and I don't know X-Men Legacy has really been sucking ass as of lately I don't know I might consider getting this mini series because usually something with Wolverine is actually really good reading so on the fence of that I give this particular book another seven it was decent it was a good read probably it was definitely worth buying not bad. Next up, we got a very good one here, X-Men Magneto Testament number two. Uh, wow, this is, a, this is a pretty gripping book. It certainly snagged me in uh, reading this. It deals with Magneto's childhood, uh, growing up in 1938 or 1939, I don't remember, dealing with uh, the Nazis and their hatred toward the Jewish faith, and this this is really an eye opener to let to remind people just how bad the times were back in the back in the days of World War II. Very very interesting read. Very very good. Uh, this is a, this is a mini series that I can definitely say I'm going to collect. This is a really good this is a really good read. I'm enjoying this very much. This issue gets an eight out of ten. Very good. If you see this anywhere, go ahead and pick it up. It's definitely worth reading. Now let's get out of X-Men, shall we? Let's go to the Merc with the Mouth. Let's go to Deadpool. Deadpool number three. <laughs> Man, this this is another series to me that just keeps getting better and better and better. Uh, Deadpool just never ceases to amaze me. He is incredibly crazy, yet extremely dangerous at the same time. The jokes continue to be hilarious. I never get tired of reading anything Deadpool does now. This is truly a phenomenal book. The last page just just made me stare at it and go, what the hell? I'm, I'm, I, once again, I, I just can't spoil this. you got to read this for yourself, and you will not be disappointed. This is going to be a series that you're going to want to buy every issue of. This is really good. A, a, a nine. Like Detective Comics, this is one of the best books of the week. Awesome. I recommend it. Finally, we got Marvel Zombies 3, number one. Um, this was this was pretty good. I loved the the zombie Deadpool in here, and I liked the, at the end of the at the end of this issue we have zombie Michael Morbius. Uh, the only thing that the only things that really pissed me off about this about this series is that it's only four issue miniseries, and the the, the covers are not zombified classics anymore. 
other than that, this is a really good read. It's, a, it's definitely a miniseries that I'm going to be picking up. I give it a 7. It's not bad. Well, that's it for part 2, so until my next video, later.